My name is Andrew Raymond Schwartz, coming at you live for me. It takes longer to dry with a thick stock, so you want to cut it down a bit. So that's what I'm doing here. Now I'm going to cut this up into pieces, and the reason for that, it'll dry faster and it'll be more bite sized. So I'm cutting it up into little. <laughs> Nails. We're, not, we're choosing not to get these cats declawed because. We want them to be as natural as possible. I'm gonna wash my hands now that I've handled the feline. We got a kale chips now. We cut them down. There's still a little bit of the stalks on them, but holy crap, we're gonna just eat them up. We're gonna put all these ingredients here into the bull blender. We got, here we've got the Hamilton Beach blender which is a phenomenal blender that you may have in your house and that we have in our house too. Um, so I'm gonna also, I got this habanero at Hy-Vee grocery store. I'm gonna cut like a bit of that off. And we're gonna put three toma cherry tomatoes in there. Just put it in. And I'm gonna put the habanero in. This is one cup of cashews that were soaked for two hours. As you can see, I got lemon here, and this is about three to four tablespoons of lemon, and we're just gonna pour that in. Cha-ching! Yeah, lemony. This is paprika, right? Nope, this is cayenne pepper. I'm just gonna put this in there. Nutritional yeast flakes. It's like a cheese substitute. Two tablespoons of nutritional yeast flakes in this container. And I'm gonna put that in there. This is half a teaspoon of Trader Joe's sea salt and just a little bit like this every so often is okay. This is a uh, half a teaspoon of garlic powder that I'm going to put in there. One complete green pepper chopped into little bits and that's just so this Hamilton Beach can be able to handle it all but it will do awesome. I believe in you or it will burn out and we'll be down to Walmart to get another Hamilton Beach blender. But that's, that's what we got in the blender. Ah, no! Please help! Please! No! I want it to be a whole food! Okay, make sure that your hands are clean for this part. I put my love and my positivity, my emotions, um, into the kale. Hello. I love you. I hope you're having a good day. I'm gonna eat you. And now I'm gonna take this sauce, this amazing sauce. Oh my gosh. Oh gosh, that's a really, I mean, I don't know, cashews mixed in with a bunch of stuff that you just saw here. It smells amazing. So now I'm gonna put this in here. I'm gonna drizzle it on. At this point, I want a flopper. Thank you. <laughs> So now I'm going to take my hands and I'm going to mix in the sauce, the globber. I'm going to mix in the globber with the kale. Just do it gently, gently. This is almost therapeutic in a way, or gross, whichever way you look at it. Evenly coat it with the mixture. My hands are going to be delicious. I should see if Moogie wants to come over and lick my hands. <laughs> Yeah, you want to keep these evenly spaced onto the trays so that they don't dry improperly. But now we're going to put it in the dehydrator and then we're going to wait. That's the hardest part, Tom Petty. It took about three hours. It's our first really good kale chips that we've ever tried. A plus. <laughs> If you feel like you got a nut, what's that? Where'd you get your kale at? Where'd we get our kale at? Walmart. <laughs> You're supposed to talk to the other camera. Just be like, we got this kale. Can get this. We got everyone. <laughs> no, we don't want to say those words. This is a horrible video. <laughs>